just listen to the play by play day by day. What it do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your day by day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with a I, I, not a why, do not ask why. And today, I have a great one for y'all because we are joined by female recording artist Reese Raps. What it do? What's up? What's up? Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. I like the energy first and foremost. Yeah. I, I, and not even just the vocal energy. Like I said, you're very vibrant. I like the earrings, the Rubik's cube. Can, <laughs> can you actually twist and solve those? You can, those? but they're they're kind of cheap to wear. Someone <laughs> someone asked me that mm-hmm. at a show over the weekend, mm-hmm. and then he literally starts solving them. And he was like, did you make these? And the earring broke. Oh, the whole shit. thing. But he ended up putting it back together. Okay. But yeah. You I I did. They were both like like this one. And mm-hmm. then I had moved it. But yeah, you can like it actually looks good as yeah. one being solved and one being not solved. Right. That yeah. actually, yeah, that's that's a good look. Have you ever solved in a Rubik's Cube like off scratch by yourself uh, before? No, unfortunately not. I feel like I could now in adulthood. It was some, one of them things that I think I I just like accepted that I can't do, but there's nothing I can't do. So oh. now that I'm like, yeah, you could do everything. I need to get a Rubik's Cube. Just not these because they're going to yeah, break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I need to get like an actual one and solve it. So that has to be your next life challenge to prove yes. that you can do all things. Right. Solve and I can Rubik's do Cube. it. I'll do it on live too. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do Ta- it on the next podcast. <laughs> tag me in it. Yeah. Just tag yeah, me in it. Since we, like, since we brought light to the situation. Yeah. Um, Like you said, I'm, I'm the type I've come to my senses that I cannot solve in a Rubik's Cube. I, I hear it's like some type of code or some shit. I, I, I bet we know. can YouTube that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I bet exactly. we can look it up. Exactly. Exactly. The, the tricks of the trade, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so real quick, your name Reese Raps. Um, mm-hmm. We did before the start of this take have a slight blooper where I said <laughs> I, I introduced you as Reese Cups, but you can understand why though. Right? <laughs> I, I, mean, I can see this. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> how, how how did your name come to light? Reese Raps. Mm-hmm. So actually, Reese, my granddad nicknamed mm-hmm. me Reese. My middle name is Sharice. And um, my granddad had a nickname for everybody. And so he gave me the nickname Reese. And the raps was when I finally got on Instagram in 2018, Reese was already taken. So I had to put something after it. So I put Reese raps because I rap. But my rap name was Reese still. It was just my Instagram name. But people would call me Reese Raps all the time. And I was on another interview. Um, shout out Shay Star. And she's like, well, I think you should just do Reese Raps for a branding thing. And mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, there is no Reese Raps. If you Google Reese Raps, I'll pop up. You Google Reese, the Reese Puff Raps yeah. might pop up. Different, yeah. different stuff yeah. going to pop up. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I ended up adding the raps. But, yeah, definitely paying homage to my grandfather who got me into performing and stuff as a kid. So. Okay. Let me just say this real quick about your grandfather giving you that name. Grandfathers are the absolute best at giving names and nicknames. That's how my grandfather was. Yeah, they really are. And it... And it's like crazy because my dad's a grandfather now. And I'm like, damn, he not giving nobody. Oh, he not giving nobody no nicknames for real. Like, well, it, what's going it, it, on it with take, this next generation of grandfathers? <laughs> 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 These new millennial <laughs> baby boomer grandfathers. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> We're missing recipes. How old is your dad? My dad is 66. Okay, so it should be kicking in right. soon. Right. I'm like, yeah, saying. where's this grandfather yeah, energy? Yeah, you know, my yeah. granddad died at 67. So, I mean, he was given nicknames. For a long time, you yep. know. <laughs> like, no, so like, um, out of all the first grandkids by my grandfather, it's like I don't know a lot of us, and he gave all of us our nicknames and even like some of our dogs and whatnot. But just to see him at work, like he would see something or someone and like that give a nickname. Literally, that's how my granddad yeah. was. Everybody had their own name. And he would just mm-hmm. pull it out uh, yep. everywhere, and that's yep. that was your name, you know. But he was the only one that called me Reese. I used to get mad when other people called me that outside mm-hmm. of like, no, that's my grandfather's nickname yeah. for me. Okay, that's like only that. for granddad. Yeah. So in 2018, when I start pursuing music, I, I start you know opening up that name for yeah. everybody to use. But definitely. Grandfathers give really good nicknames. Shout out to the grandfathers <laughs> out there. Shout out to all the real ones. Um, and I'll repeat to the ones that are no longer here with us. Um, so what have you been up to lately and what do you got going on? Man, it's been a long, short filling year, but it's uh, I've been doing a lot like nonstop from like from January on. It's just been like back to back to back to back to back stuff. That's good. So um from starting, I dropped um Capital Progression EP with the J Dilla beats. January 1st, we dropped like visuals to every 
every track on there and got more visuals on the way from tracks on there. Mm -hmm. And um, Can I ask you something? I mean, to cut yeah. you off. So when you, as an artist, say you, you said it's a Jay Dilla beat, you, you mm -hmm. know, so how does that work? Like, do you have to get permission from his, like, publishing? Yeah, to, so like, actually, um, they allow Jay Dilla's beats, it's copyrighted, but they allow it to be used on YouTube. Okay. You know, so there's a bunch of Jay Dilla beats all over YouTube that are, um, you're able to pull from it yeah. and use. So the project's only on YouTube okay. and SoundCloud. So gotcha. it's not for profit or nothing like that. Yeah. And yeah, so it's, we just put it out. I didn't have to really contact yeah. nobody gotcha. to do that. Gotcha. Now, if I wanted to put it on streaming and, and sell it and, and do vinyls and everything, yeah, then then I'm getting sued maybe. <laughs> but um, yeah, as far as just like, it was just for the people, just a project that I wanted to put out there about, you know, self-growth. And I just really love... Dilla Beats, there's nothing like some Jay Dilla Beats. Like, he's really, like, just a legend in his own right. And just, they brought something out of me when I wasn't motiva motivated to write and everything. Mm -hmm. And it, I was able to hear that and just freestyle, hear that and just write. And so I'm definitely glad I put that out. And it definitely, I wanted to show people, too, because I do a lot of, like, genre bending and stuff. I, I wanted to do something that was straight hip-hop, though, you know, before I dwelled into my r&b era yeah. you know so yeah. just so the people don't get it confused like i do rap you right, know first right, and foremost right. but also um it, it really meant a lot to me to just get those messages out and it was like a lot of those songs you know my heart so and his his beats like you said jay Dilla's one of a kind r.i.p first and foremost mm -hmm. um like a lot of my reels like the background music is jay Dilla because it's a it's 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 a perfect blend of you know a nice vibe. It's right. not too. It's not it's not nothing crazy turned up, but it's a very nice vibe and it's hip hop right. at the end of the day, which is what I'm all about as well. Um, something else we have coming up, uh, June second, the Dope Concert Atlanta meets Charlotte. Talk mm -hmm. about that real quick. What that is? Yeah. So um, last time we did Miami meets CLT, we brought Miami artists up. We collaborated with a platform called Chicken and Backwoods Miami that I had met in December, actually, when we were shooting a lot of the Jay Dilla visuals and stuff like that. And then they came up there, and um, so I, I really inspired me to, cause I mean I've been doing a Dope concert for maybe like. A year and a half now. What is Dope Concert exactly? So the Dope Concert, um, well, I got a project called the Dope EP, Diary of a Pahe EP. Okay. And um, I just Dope is a branding thing. So anytime I say dope, I spell it like that. Even if yeah. I'm saying, hey, your, your podcast is dope, I'm yeah. going to spell it like that. Even if you don't know what it means, you, yeah. you might. You like, spell it D-O-A-P. Like, right, D-O-A-P. So uh, when I, I've been doing events for like four years now, but... I finally, I was working with people, partners, different things. and then, But then I'm like, I could literally do this on my own. Yeah. So then I start underneath my own thing. I'm like, I'm going to just name it Dope Events. Yeah. So the Dope Concert, we did our first one in October 2021. Um, we had 25 artists, all dope lineups, some produ like three producers, ciphers, vendors, vibes. You know, it was like 200 people came out. It was Damn. dope. Um, yeah. Crown Station. And then we started a resident residency um where we did dope thursdays every week we were doing um four artists a week 25 minute sets and then a producer as well open mic cypher and then um i did that from february to the end of may so we did them weeklies we got like 70 artists through to do 25 minute sets some of them hadn't did that long of a set before because we yeah. don't we don't get those opportunities that much especially in the hip-hop space so mm -hmm. wanted to um do that even though it was all genre but you know we get a lot of hip-hop people coming through and then um so the dope cost it's just a concert a bunch of dope people's um like a bigger lineup you know like 20 artists type thing 15 to 20 artists and um performing and everybody fire everything yeah. organized and you just really thoroughly enjoy it it doesn't feel like a drag you know because yeah. it's curated it's not open it's not an open mic or nothing like that okay. but, but we do do we did do a dope open mic as well but yeah. it's like it, you know, you can't just come up and perform. Like, yeah, it's yeah. curated. It's it's organized in a way to where it flows right and everything to where mm -hmm. you're going to enjoy it thoroughly. It doesn't feel like it's that many artists, yeah. you know. But, um, yeah, it's just a dope-ass concert. But um, D-O-A-P. 
Right. <laughs> and then, um, so we got Atlanta coming up because now I've been doing this stuff where it's like Charlotte, mostly Carolina, but I know so many different artists from different places yeah. and, I, and I move around so much. I want to start bringing people here, but also going to their markets. Mm -hmm. So we did it with Miami and now Atlanta. Um, definitely looking to do Raleigh next. Okay. Um, Raleigh meets Charlotte. Um, Richmond meets Charlotte. Denver, L.A., you know, even St. Louis. I just want to um, tap back into these markets before I do it. Like, yeah. so I, I know I frequent Atlanta a lot, so it just makes sense to do that. I frequent yeah. Raleigh a lot. But in the meantime, I'm definitely be traveling to Richmond, tra back to my hometown, retapping into these scenes. And um, so I can just keep doing that and bring in half the lineup because it's like, I could do just Charlotte all day, but it's only so many 20 artists lineups you could do yeah. in Charlotte and keep it fresh, right, you know? Right. So it's like, it's so many different other artists that want to travel around and move. So it's definitely doing, providing that space. I like it. And I like the opportunities that you're providing. Um, where are you originally from? I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. 412 in the building. Oh, um, you said it right. You said it right. Pittsburgh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, one of my best friends is from Pittsburgh. Oh, really? So yeah, yeah. Shout out to my boy, Thief. Um, I right, so real quick, recently you did Miami. Upcoming, mm -hmm. you're doing Atlanta, meet Charlotte. You did mm -hmm. Miami, meet Charlotte. So let me ask you something about Miami and uh, Atlanta to mm -hmm. begin with. You're a rapper, so I'm assuming that you consumed a lot of rap music from different mm -hmm. areas, which is the reason why you're doing what you're doing now as far as tapping in. Let me get your R Mount Rushmore of Miami artists. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Boom on a goddamn I, I'm, spot. I'm gonna name the only ones that I know for real. I uh I Which don't really cool. I don't really listen to a lot of Miami artists. I I'm a, I'm a, that they make that party music. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not a big like party music hip hop listener. You know what I'm saying? So you like, like it more so for the lyrics lyrics and Yeah, the, and the vibes, the vibe. you know what I'm saying? Like okay. Cali, like like different places, but Miami. I'm gonna just name the ones that I that I know. Of course, you got to put Trina up there. Yeah, I've Jim Jones. Definitely on there. He from Miami. No, he be there a lot. He's from Harlem. Oh, <laughs> 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 he be there a lot. Y'all seen him out there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, um, is it Uncle Luke from Miami? Yeah, yeah, Uncle Luke for sure. Yeah. Um, what we need two more? <laughs> I would throw Kodak. Oh no, he's not from Miami. He ain't from Miami. You're right. Trick Daddy. He's from Miami. All right. Okay. I see what you're saying. Now. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Now. I see Name what you're four saying. artists yeah, from yeah, Miami. Yeah, right, 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 right. All right. Then let's and then switch we'll it. Let's put them switch under it. Mount Rushmore. <laughs> let's switch it. I got something a little more for you. Mount Rushmore of Atlanta rappers. Okay, definitely Outkast. Yeah. Definitely Outkast. I'm gonna put Earth Gang up there too. Okay. Put Earth Gang up there. Um, Ludacris. Yeah. For sure. Ludacris is on mine. Yep. Yeah, Ludacris. Um, Uno Mas. You said Bruno Mars? Uno Mas. One oh, more. okay. I'm like, Bruno Mars? He from nah, <laughs> hell nah. Fuck no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, hmm. hmm. That last spot is a big one. All right, so we got Outcast, we got Earth Gang, we got Ludacris. Mm hmm. Atlanta them put out some goddamn mm. goddamn. That's tough. Mm -hmm. That's tough. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's so many though. Yeah. It's so many, yeah. and I I feel like I'm like I'm missing like. I'm gonna tell you who I would put in the last spot. Who would you put you, in the you last tell spot? Me yours. Based off of the impact and the amount of people that he put on, I would put Gucci at that last spot. Mm, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. And then if it was a fifth, it's no fifth, but honorable mention, I would do Future. Because Future has been okay. hard yeah. for Yeah, I can see 12, that too. 12 what plus about years. Um, Thugger? A lot of people have Thug up there, but. <laughs> so What about T.I.? A lot of people have in Jeezy. A lot of people have T.I. Uh, and Jeezy up there. Yeah. Um, uh, again, I'm going now. If it was based I off see of, Gu I Gucci, I, I definitely yeah. could if, see Gucci up there. If it was based off of just their music alone, then I would go Ti or Jeezy. But again, I'm going off of impact yeah. of the trap scene, which Atlanta is like notorious right. for, which is why I'm giving it to Gucci. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Gucci too. Yeah, and, and I'm gonna give it to Gucci. And maybe I don't know. Would we have Thug without Guap? I don't know because Thug. I saw a I saw a Thug when he first came up with Pee Wee Longway and the Rolling Song, 
and I'm trying to think, did Pee Wee come from Gucci? The first time I really knew Thug was the truth was on Gucci's lean mixtape intro mm. with, with Pee Wee Longway and Thug. That was the first time I knew Thug was that smoke, and it came off a Gucci uh, mixtape. I didn't hear Thug till later. Yeah. I think that, what was it, till that song with T.I.? If it ain't about the money. Yeah, don't yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was that or Daniel Glover. I'm gonna get a bit in lover. Uh, I'm gonna turn the two bitches. I'm gonna get a bit of the two bitches. Never heard that one? Mm. So I think that was the- You might not be singing it right now. Probably not. It's, um, <laughs> it's, it's not a, ringing a bell It's right a reason now. I'm not a musician. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was, like you said, it ain't about the money, that whole rich gang scene yeah. with rich homie, yeah. And I I don't know, I think Thug came up on a goo but if he did or didn't, know. if he did or didn't, a lot of artists did, right. which is why I'm giving it to Goo. J.I.D. is pretty dope too, Who's but I, I wouldn't put him on a- Mount Rushmore, yet of Atlanta, JID. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not. I'm not familiar. from Dreamville. Oh, okay. Jet. Okay, wait. Is that the dude with the um? Who, who's the never dude? had shit? Never been in the dance, in the dance, in the nigga. Every gay two shits. <laughs> It, who's never the, been a bit. Is, it, is that the dude with the? Nah, nah. I'm thinking the dude. I'm thinking from. It's from Charlotte. The dude with the. Um, who's the dude from Betty's Ford? That's, Luke. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's something I'm thinking of. Something. Yeah. Right, so mm. Earth Gang and GID came out the same. Like camp. okay. Like um, Spillage Village. Yeah. Yeah. So um, JID's pretty dope. But I lo- I just, I seen Earth Gang perform live and I really enjoyed their concert. Really yeah. one of the best concerts I've ever been to. Just the energy, the vibes, the, the comedy. Like one of them's goofy. And it's just like, it was just, it was just cool. It was, it was a really good set. The music, the catalog, the singing with the rapping. I, I love all that. So they would get the crown for best live performance you've seen? I don't know if they would get the crown for best live performance I've seen. I mean, if I could watch myself perform, I'd probably get the crown for that mm, one. <laughs> I like it. I'll be, listen, I'll be throwing alley-oops on this show, and I love when people slam dunk. That's why look, I got the basketball joint. Look, That's a reminder, because uh, I'll be throwing alley-oops for people. Help me, help you, help me, help you. All right, yourself excluded. What was the best live performance or concert you've been to? I feel like, I feel like I've been gypped. I've been gypped. I've been gypped. What does that, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I've been cheated. Mm, how so? I've been cheated because I feel like I can't properly answer this question because I I I got I went to Coachella in 2019 and I missed everybody, but um but Bad Bunny. Hold up, Lisa. So hold I've up, been Lisa. cheated. I, I I wish I would have saw Anderson Pack in the Free Nationals. I feel like that would have been my answer, but I didn't see him that year. I missed it. Hold up, Reese. <laughs> now I'm gonna insinuate something. Coachella, they say it's a lot of partying going on and whatnot. So let me let me ask first. So. How did you miss all these performances <laughs> at Coachella? It was turned up? No, nah, it's a long story. It, it's some bullshit, man. Yeah? I happened? went with, with this girl that's no longer my friend, right? Okay. We had a long layover in Orlando. Okay. Right, 10-hour layover Jeez. in Orlando. So we go shop and do different things. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure they didn't transfer our bags over because my bag did not have the tag that said it's going to go to the final destination. Mm-hmm. I'm a flight attendant. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm doing. I'm a flight mm-hmm. attendant. I was a flight attendant for 10 years. I yeah. I know. Yeah. They put our bags over. Da, da, yeah. da. I'm like, we was there for a whole 10 hours. That's a long time. Well, that's a long time to, to know. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. We get to, and this is my birthday too, by the way. <laughs> Cause I told my birthday's in April. That's what Coachella Birthdays are the worst days. Weekend, <laughs> weekend one, right? 2019. I was like, I paid $700 for these Coachella tickets, mm. right? So <sighs> get to LA like midnight. Mm-hmm. What do you know? Our bags are in fucking Orlando. All the shopping, all the packing, everything, Mm -hmm. everything I prepared for is in Orlando. Damn. In Orlando still. And um, and she had had this um, internship with this company that I had um, connected her with called the Rap Plug or whatever. And her main, because it's my birthday, not to mention it's my birthday. Right. So we had a whole spot. It was like maybe like 
an hour away from Coachella. It wasn't close, but I had a whole spot I already paid for. And she's like, oh, well, we could just stay with the rap plug people. And we had to pay to stay with them, too. And so I... I you already paid for the Yeah, I already spot? paid for the other spot. And she's like, she was just concerned with trying to get in with them. With them yeah. Right? To the point where she wanted to get the key first. Mm -hmm. So even so we're out shopping at the mall, mm -hmm. which is right down the street for Coachella because we had to spend a lot of the time shopping because yeah. our bags, they didn't give us our bags till the day before I, I left. Like Damn. I was out there the whole like they were supposed to deliver it. She thought it was funny, too, like uh, how mad I was mm -hmm. talking to these people. They talking about they they going to get it the next day. They wasn't giving me the bags yeah. like just whatever. So then. At the mall shopping, and actually we seen Juice World at the mall mm. in the parking lot. I didn't say anything. I was yeah. like, "Yo, I'll catch him next time." He ended up dying like yeah. not too long after that. I was like, mm. "Shit!" But literally, this mall is right down the street from Coachella. We uh -huh. still daytime. Yeah, we could have just went to Coachella. Mm -hmm. This all my birthday. Mm -hmm. This is the day of my the birthday. Day of your yeah. yeah, literally day one Coachella. So could have just went there. She's like, "No, I want to get the keys from the um, Rat Plug House." Which is like an hour back Ooh. the other way. So. And who was performing? What was going on at Coachella um, on your actual beat? Childish Gambino was headlining that day. Oh, man. Childish Gambino one was. And he don't even perform anymore. Like and, this. And, and one of my favorite songs ever is Feels Like Summer. That's one of my favorite oh, songs man. of all time. And um, what's that other one? Uh, Something Your Mama. I don't know. Childish what? Gambino was yeah. headlining that day. It oh, was some shit. other people on the lineup. I know um, Lizzo was on the lineup, um, and Janelle Monet, Anderson Pack, Free Nationals. So, um, so we go all the way back just so she could try mm. to. And, so, and then they would have just let us in later. We didn't have yeah. to like do all that. Went all the way back just to get the keys, then go back. So I'm letting her drive at this point because I'm like, I'm going to start drinking. I'm, yeah. I'm going to just start. By, it's my birthday and I'm yeah. sitting in a car most of the time. Yeah. There's like now, now when we get back to Coachella, there's a big ass line of cars. Like mm. you can't even get right in there. It's like a whole line of cars. And we're just waiting. We should have just went when we bucks. was by there. Yeah. So there's a whole line of cars. And then, um, Anyway, I can't believe I'm telling this story because it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. Yeah, it gets worse. So right. there's a there's like a cop there and she's trying to see where to park. And then she's like, don't say anything. And I'm just like, where to park? I like I'm not I'm not belligerent drunk to where I can't I can't yeah. talk and I handle myself. Yeah. This girl going to get on the phone afterwards talking to the people from the rap hug, like talking about me while I'm sitting there like, oh, she she's. Doing, talking about me while I'm sitting there. So we get in this whole argument. She gets out the car. Jesus. It starts walking. So I get in the seat. Then she gets back in the car. And then she just wanted to, she was, I don't know. She gets back in the car. Anyways, we end up, I end up having to drive out the line because I had to pee. And we get in a whole fist fight. Uh -oh. On my birthday. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> On my birthday. Because she was, um, she was putting in her headphones. I was taking out her headphones because I'm like, I'm talking. I was like having oh, a conversation. She, she kept putting in her headphones. Her so I was taking them out. And she's like, don't touch my headphone. And she had hit me. And then we just got in. And then we got in a whole fight. All, wow. I, all I remember is that her head was by where her feet should have been. And her feet was like up. Like, up. Like Dang, trying you... to kick me. Dang. And... Did her like that? <laughs> on my birthday. On your B day, man. Yeah, Girl. on my birthday. And then, um, so that was like, it just ruined the whole first yeah, day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You think? But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then after that, um, it's like we at the house the second day. I don't I don't even know what happened the second day we missed it. But we end up going to Combs Fest, like, which I don't really care about. It was like the P. Diddy's Coachella party. The rap plug was doing okay. the media for that. And it was like, I don't really care mm -hmm. about it. I mean, it's cool to take pictures, social yeah. media, and yeah. taking pictures with celebrities and all that. But it's like, 
I really was here for the like actual Coachella, yeah, Coachella you know. Coachella is Coachella, so, is Coachella. So, yeah, and it was just like we ended up going to Cones Fest, so that was cool. But we could have definitely went to both. Like mm-hmm. it was just a lot of like. So after y'all fought, did y'all the next day what? Yeah, we yeah because we were still out there the whole time. Okay. So she was like, "I love you," and da da da. We had reconciled. We ended up falling out like a month later. Okay. Um, but yeah, we we end up like pulling it together for the trip but <laughs> that, honestly yo I'm not even gonna hold you that sounds like a typical girls trip like it's always some yeah, drama and some man. shit involved I was like yo and then she, not to mention she didn't have no money for like she was supposed to pay me back for her to Coachella ticket and she had just the money for the ticket didn't have no money for her flight or no money out there either and so it was like I could I should have looking back I would have just paid a videographer to come with me yeah and Make I could have had the trip. whole time. Make it a solo trip. I had the videographer there yeah. filming everything. I could have did everything that I did. Yeah. Been at Cones Fest, been at Coachella, seen Anderson Pack. That would have yeah. been, I would have just answered the question. Yeah, I seen Anderson Pack at Coachella. It was amazing. But right. should have made it a solo trip. Are you, yeah. are you, have you done solo trips? Are you a oh, fan yeah. of solo trips? Oh, yeah, I, all the time. Yeah. All where the have time. you, where have you taken solo trips to? Um, LA several times. I, I go to my hometown a lot, Pittsburgh. I go to Atlanta a lot. Um, I haven't done any solo trips internationally, um, but I did go to London with my friend. Um, where else have I went solo? So do you, as a woman taking solo trips, do you, because it is a difference mm-hmm. as far as a man taking a solo trip and a woman, like, um, do you feel like a little, uh, like, um, on on edge since you're a woman taking a solo trip by yourself? And no. like, how do you protect yourself when you take solo trips? How do I protect myself? Yeah. I'll just sprinkle some like holy water. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> um, burn, burn some sage. Right, before you right. Go. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just I'll be trying to tell my parents and stuff. Like, I'm protected. The universe is yeah, <laughs> protecting yeah, me. Like, I'm God good. Like, um, I'm just really like, I don't know. I just like a lot of times when I go places solo though, I might know people in the in the in the town, in the city a lot of times. But um, I mean I've been places alone. I really just don't be Doing too much. I took a solo trip to um, Tennessee last year. Nashville? Um, no, Gatlinsburg. And that was something I was like, it wasn't supposed to be a solo trip. Uh-huh. And I was out there and I was like, that I didn't feel safe to just, I went like on a little block, but I didn't feel safe to be all k- hiking and all that stuff. Was that so, like in the mountains of Tennessee? Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like the mountains and stuff. Like, And I would have did a lot more adventurous stuff, mm-hmm. but because I was alone, I was like, nah, I don't want to really do all that. But sometimes yeah. I'll go hiking alone. Mm-hmm. Um, really, I just kind of like, just do it. I'd be moving around a lot. And you just got to kind of move around and just know that you you good. You know, I don't really invite and fear into my okay. into my mindset when like, I'm like going places. Because then you're attractive. Yeah. Um, it's also important to highlight that, you know, when you're taking solo trips and whatnot, to not, to kind of fit in, like not act like right. you're not from yeah. there, right? Like you kind of got to blend in and not saying talk like them and whatnot, but if you stick out, then of course people going to, you know, attract right. towards you and try to take advantage of you and whatnot. I feel like I stick out naturally. <laughs> naturally. Yeah, from a vibrant out. standpoint, no, but, yeah. but not from an out of town standpoint. Right, point. right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so I don't I don't be out there with a map. Yeah, looking nah. You can, <laughs> like, you can you can you can blend know? in for a few spots. Like I I get kind of a Cali vibe. Like yeah. I can see you being in or from Cali. Mm-hmm. Atlanta. I get that sometimes. Yeah, Atlanta's a melting pot. So Right, yeah. You know, Atlanta's cool. Yeah. And I know I know a few people out there and I know people in these places now. I guess over time I yeah. start knowing more Developing, people, more and yeah. more people in these places. And um yeah, it's just I kind of rather I drive a lot of places solo. I'm probably missing like mad spots, but mm-hmm. like I just be getting on the road and and driving. Like a lot of these shows I've been doing, I've been going solo. Yeah. Um. From you know Fayetteville to Raleigh to to Shout Columbia to, to those are just like you know short yeah. things. You know I want to just go to the beach one day. I don't think I've done that yet. Just drove just, to the beach solo. Just take off to the beach. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So let's let's talk about the opposite end of the spectrum. From mm-hmm. tra- from traveling by yourself. Let's talk about vacations. Do you take? <laughs> have you taken? Do you like vacations? Um, I have not taken a vacation in a since I was in a relationship. Okay. And Are you well? Let, let's let's you know get some uh, 
get some uh, clear understanding. Are you in a relationship now? No, I'm not. Okay. So I haven't been in one that, since I moved to Charlotte. Okay, which yeah, was so how long ago? Five years ago. Okay. Yeah, so I was in a four-year relationship. And then like a week before that, I was in a one-year relationship. You know, this, wait a week before you got into the four year yeah. relationship, you was in a one year relationship. Yeah, a so, week is that yeah. is that is that healthy? <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. It wasn't. Did anything carry over? Like going just just being a week in the gap? <laughs> like did any like thing carry over? Do you think <laughs> that's that's a short amount of time, you know, Reese? <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. That's a short amount of time, yo. <laughs> What's crazy is like you'll never believe this. It, it's, <laughs> it's funny. It's really funny. So <laughs> the the one year relationship before that, that was actually my high school boyfriend. Okay. We were together for like seven months, and then we were broken up for like a year. Okay. Then we got back together for like eleven months. Technically, okay. not a year. Yeah. But when we got back together, I was still, I was living in Kansas City because we were starting in St. Louis. That's where I went to high school at. Okay. I was living in Kansas City at the time. And he moved out to Kansas City to live in that area. And I had told my parents that he was just um, my friend and asked if he could move in the basement. <laughs> so The whole time y'all was knocking boots. <laughs> <laughs> they found out eventually I think what they they did know eventually that we were together right yeah so <laughs> why not just come out the gate with that like why try to uh, I don't know I yeah. was I was what that was 10 years ago gotcha. I, I was 19 gotcha so 18 yeah. no 19 and the funny thing is though when we had, were broken up and I moved on he was still living downstairs in the basement for like a month or so after y'all broke up and i'm with the new person oh <laughs> my god that is a fucking recipe for disaster yo. yeah and i'm with the new person and um he's like crying to my family and stuff like that oh it, my god, it, was, it was the whole thing like that's was, like that's like when people be living with the parents of their child like when a girl still live with their baby father <laughs> but they broken up and she yeah. talking about something come over it's cool what the fuck yeah. like that's weird you know yeah yeah it was it was definitely like a wild time and then he was like, but yeah, it wasn't like it, I was dibbling and dabbling. Yeah, no, no, it, was, it was yeah, like, yeah. it was totally You, you done. moved on, but he was just still in the <laughs> he vicinity. Was still there. I was gone. I was moving around and stuff. Yeah, yeah. but he was still there for like a whole month. Like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. if you ask about stuff carrying over, yeah, he, he technically lived there. For, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. For a in second. person. <laughs> that was an in person carry Yeah, over. yeah. That was definitely wild. But, um, yeah, so it was like I spent a lot of time in relationships from like 18 to almost 24. You know, I was in relationships straight. So it, it, I, that's why I was like, people be like, you single now? It's like, yo, I literally was in relationships for my whole beginning 18 to 24 almost. Like, that's a long time. So, what's the, well, first of all, let me ask you, what are relationships healthy? Hindsight. No. At all? No. They okay. were both toxic relationships. Okay, so then yeah. I can't ask what I wanted to ask. I'm going to ask the difference. Okay, well... Both I, of them were... No, both of them were not yeah. not good relationships. So... But yeah, you asked about the vacation that looked... Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, yeah, let's rewind a little bit. Let's rewind a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, yeah. So, like... I, well, let me ask you this. Speaking of the vacations, because I forgot who said it. It was some female artist. She said... She prefers fun niggas because they can take trips with them. Uh, I think that was uh, what was it, Asian doll or something? Yeah, one of the uh, yeah. Take trips with you can take trips with a fun nigga. It's no nothing connected. You can take trips with them. You can go out to eat with them, and that's that, right? So, would you take a vacation with someone you're not even really technically with? Um, if I like them, mm -hmm. if I like them, if I don't like them, no. You know, I'm not doing, I'm not even. That sounds about right. Yeah, I feel like if, if but I, I can see how that could also go left too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would though. I feel like I would. I feel like I would. All right, now my second question to this. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure recently you've seen, I actually posted it on my story. Um, it recently came out. It was um, a couple, I don't know if they're a couple. Maybe they were just like each other, like you said. Mm -hmm. But they went on a vacation. Um, they was on a boat, uh, maybe like a helicopter. It was a pricely vacation, mm -hmm. obviously. 
and the girl posted pictures, but completely took bro's face out the picture, like <laughs> erased it. Completely out the picture. Have you seen that? No, I haven't seen it. After this, look at my story. It's on my story. I, I posted it and said, stay dangerous. Because the dude's face, like, she completely... E what you mean? Like, she just scribbled over she it? She used the app. You know how you can erase shit? Oh, she, like, she erased him his out the face. photo. It, just his face. His body was still there? His body was still there. <laughs> nuh -uh. They're on the boat. It's them together. Everything is good, but his neck up is erased out the fucking picture. Is there a background behind it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the what water is that? behind no. it. <laughs> the water is behind it. Let me get your That's thoughts funny. on that. I mean, I would have erased the whole nigga out the picture. <laughs> I mean, so, why stop at the face? <laughs> I guess because she wanted to be known, you know, that no. she was with somebody. But I mean, I can see someone doing that if you like. All right, I'm keeping my relationship private. Yeah. Like, like, like Issa Rae when she she got married mm -hmm. and she ain't posted the yeah. face, and then like she just popped out and was married. Well, I I I know that we're past the days of y'all posting y'all dudes. I get that, <laughs> and the reason being because y'all don't want. Listen, we're outnumbered. It's way more women than men. <laughs> y'all don't want bitches to be on y'all dudes. That's that's I feel like it's a it's like a thing like especially when you're like a, I don't see myself doing that in the future. I mean, I posted my dude in the past mm -hmm. like but that was before I was doing music and before I was a public figure. Yeah. But but I don't see myself doing it now cuz it's like it's a business, yeah. and that's not none of your business, mm -hmm. you know. As a, as a, so you just wouldn't post anything at all. You wouldn't go to the links of posting him with erasing his face no, out. You just wouldn't, I wouldn't post, post anything. No, you wouldn't know. Yeah, you wouldn't I, know. I'm gonna post the water by itself. That's fucked up. But. Not you. I'm not saying you. I'm saying what she did. That's fucked up. Like I'm cool if, like, say I'm the dude. If if she don't post nothing, if she just posts background, like you said, the water right, and shit, right. cool. I probably post the same thing. If someone could put two and two together, right? Cool. Right. But if you post me in a picture <laughs> and take my fucking face out, I'm pretty sure he paid what? for the I'm That's pretty crazy. sure he paid for the excursions. So if I'm did paying Did he post for, her though? Huh? But did he post her? Yo no say. But, or what you could have went to his story and her face crashed out too. Well, I, I don't know. I couldn't find, you know, it was just only her thing that, you know, uh -huh. was on there. Oh, so you're saying if he posted her first and her but now nah, see, <laughs> it's different for us. We're not gonna listen. Listen, Reese. We're not. Po we're. We'll post. Honestly, we may post quicker than y'all would post for a few reasons. For one, don't nothing compliment a man more than a bad joint. So, and she looked good. So, if you posted her on a vacation, that looks good. That that looks good for us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so y'all clout chasing? Not even clout. <laughs> not even clout chasing. That's just a good look mm -hmm. from men and women. Mm -hmm. The dude's gonna be like, okay, okay, bro, I see you. Da 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 da. And then, you know, women that's going to be salty, you know what I'm saying? Right. They're going to come out the woodworks they talking about... sending the hard eyes yeah, to, the, to, the, yeah, to the DM yeah. on the next post. Exactly. Like, <laughs> and then you got ones that be like, okay, I saw, I see you and your little girlfriend, da-da-da. So it's more benefits that come from men that post mm -hmm. vacation photos. I get it. So I doubt that he posted one with her face out. If he did, <laughs> then that's some wild ass shit. <laughs> like, I've never seen a dude do that. I've seen women do it. But if a guy does it, then for what? Because you only I've get benefits out of it. I've seen women post, like trips of themselves on trips and then yeah. and, and not and then don't post the dude yeah. and it'd be like not their expenses yeah and, and that, i also and that's see cool people too. assume that people are like i'll be posting stuff and people will assume i'm with a dude and like, I'm who not, taking a picture uh it'll be like just me though it'll be like me in the mirror and then it'd be like oh man who, who you with yeah, or yeah, da, yeah. Da, da, da. and it's yeah. like I could literally be with my family. Yeah. Like I could literally be with my parents, my niece right. and nephew, and it's right. like, and y'all, <laughs> right. And I'll just be posting me, and then y'all think I'm I'm with some dude somewhere. Yeah. Or I could be by myself and stuff, and it's like, so I mean, people assume all, stuff all the people time, do. you know. People but do. you always can can cap for social media if you want, you know. What I'm that saying? too. That too. <laughs> if that, you want to, it's what, easy. What Drake say? He know a girl that keep photos of old destinations and post them to. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's that shit is real. You can do that. that you can do sick. that, but um, you know, I, I I just hope, bro, you know, is in is in good spirits because that went viral and everything. Ah uh, damn, I'm trying to see it though. I just, I yeah, just, yeah, I just, I, I would show you my phone, but it's using the record. Can't I'll, imagine. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll show you after. You're going to geek when you see it. Um, all right, so real quick, um, a form of content that you have, uh, the wrapping recipes. Break that down real quick because I absolutely 
Love that. Oh, really? Yeah, Thank break that you. Down. Yep. Something I've been wanting to do for a minute, mm. at least a year. And um, cause I've been having my cooking page because I'm vegan. And so I've been ha- and I've been vegan for or vegetarian vegan. I started vegetarian, turned vegan five years ago, but vegetarian six years ago. And um I've had that page since 2019. Mm. And I just post on it like when I feel like it type yeah. stuff, like it'll be like recipes. And I, I just like haven't really, be- I know when I was being real consistent on that page, it was getting more views than my rap page. Mm. And I was like, damn, like I know this vegan food going up. People yeah. want to know how to cook vegan. People love food. Um, Cause a lot of times, like when I first went vegan, I didn't know what to make. I okay. was eating, or when I was vegetarian, I was eating cheese fries every day my first year. You know what I'm saying? I was like, that was what I ate. Yeah, Veggie, it was kind of defeating the purpose. Yeah, it was just like, but um, I as I learned how to like start cooking and, and making stuff because I w- I didn't even start cooking until like 2018. Like okay. I used to not cook for real, and, and so I started learning how to make stuff. I make a lot of easy recipes though too, mm-hmm. and so it's like I want to. Um, a lot of people get discouraged about being vegan because they don't know all the different things you can make, and I make a lot of good food and I eat really good. So I um I'm all about. I, I like to think of my different entities as like a Venn diagram. Okay. So we got Reese Raps right here. Mm-hmm. We got Dope Events right here. Mm-hmm. We got, it used to be Reese Cooks, but now it's Rapping Recipes. Yeah. So I, I want to see where they all can intersect, you mm-hmm. know, in the middle. So, you know, I can intersect the music. I see these two are intersecting the music and the events. You know, that's a pretty easy intersection. Yeah. I've even cooked food and had my mom serve it at my event, you know. Okay. And, so those two can intersect because yeah. you need food at events. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, I need to find an intersection with the... And, and the intersection I had before was posting my music behind all my cooking videos. That but, always works. But yeah, but I wanted to definitely take it a step further. And I was like, yo, I could really wrap these recipes. And mm. I've had that idea for a while, you know, told some people about it. I was, I even spoke about it on a few podcasts and stuff without doing it. And I'm like, yeah. someone's going to steal my idea yeah, if I don't yeah, just yeah. do it. You gave too much so, sauce. Yeah, the other day I was cooking um, the chickpea curry. And the way that it actually finally happened, because I've been sitting on this for a while, but I went ahead and go... I went ahead and like last month, a couple few weeks ago, I went ahead and changed my name mm-hmm. to rap in recipes. And I was talking to my friend and she was like, I'm like, yeah, this is probably my last time making curry. Cause I've only made it three times. And I was like, I'm like, all right, I'm probably good. It was in the last week. I made yeah. it three times. So yeah. um, she's like, record it. And I'm like, so I recorded it. I'm like, okay, cool. And she's like, when you posting it, I'm like, I don't know, probably tomorrow. But then I'm like, now I changed the name to Rapping Recipes. I'm like, I was supposed to be doing these recipe raps. Right. On the phone, I came up with the first two bars. Mm. And then like in 20, within 20 minutes, I had it written out. Yeah. And then I posted it the next day. Nice. So, so um, that was the beginning of Rapping Recipes. And it got a really good response. Yeah, um, and I'm just like, I know that's going up. I didn't, I, in my head, it seemed more complicated to write it out than, mm-hmm. but when I finally did it, I'm like, oh shit, I can actually do this pretty easily and write it all out and do it. And I, I'm going to have like a recipe rhyme book after I get a good, yeah. good amount, write them down like handwritten yeah. and then have them in like a composition book, mm-hmm. recipe book that's a rhyme book. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, definitely that's on the way. And I'm excited. I've already written my second one. I'm recording my second one today. Okay. It's Lion's Mane Mushroom Steak. You know what I'm saying? So I already wrote it. It's even more fire than the last one. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I'm like, when I say I'm about to get in my bag with these, because yeah. it's like something easy I could do, but I'm excited about it again. It's not just I'm posting cooking videos yeah, and it's not and it's, adding it's, to my music career. And that's the that's the connection that you wanted to do in the first place with between the you know the music and the food mm-hmm. and who doesn't like music and who doesn't like to eat. Right. So many things to unravel. Okay, first and foremost, um, I want to talk about how you said, you know, you were sitting on it for a minute and you just finally did it. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about real quick just... Uh, like just the state of mind because so many people out there and I'm guilty of this and I'm actually guilty of currently doing this Mm -hmm. where we have something, you know, we have some type of project or idea on our mind and it's like, it's just sitting for, okay, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Then tomorrow turns into next week. That turns into next month. Next thing you know, two years go by that we have this idea that we sat on. And then once we finally do it, we realized this was easy as shit. Right. Like how I could have been doing yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. So was that was the case for this raps? Like Yeah. I, I mean, I probably talked about it first when I first 
publicly talked about it was when I was on the what's it called um stylish vegan podcast and that was at least that was definitely last year you know so um what inspired me there's this girl one great vegan and she sings her stuff it don't rhyme or nothing she, uh, but she just sings it yeah. out you know when you sing you, you don't got a rhyme yeah, it's you like just poetry. Sing. she sings her vegan recipes i'm like yo i could do this i could do this with, in rap form you know and it's like in my head. And then it was like so many things of me overcomplicating on how I wanted to do it or, or did I want to wrap the rest? And then other people ideas coming in. Well, you could just do like food songs to listen to while they did a recipe. And it's like now the initial idea, I literally wanted to wrap the recipe, like yeah. literally wrap it out. And um, yeah, it was just um, something you just got to do. Like, but I, I think I overcomplicated it so much that it seemed like something that damn, you got to find time. And I was like, all right, maybe I'll have time. Like in my head, I would, I wouldn't have dropped this until like, I was going to say mid year. It is mid year, yes. but in my head, it was mid year that I was going to start doing this. Or even yeah. after the summer, I would start. Like, I remember even last week I was like, yo, I'm going to start focusing on my cooking page after the summer's over and stuff like that. Making it like a whole thing when it's yeah. like, I could literally do this simultaneously with everything else I'm doing. Exactly. And it's like, cause I cook already and you know, I, and it's like, I found motivation to write, to write when I, I've been trying to write in different things and, and force and stuff, but it's like, sometimes I'd be feeling more like freestyling than writing, but it's actually inspiring me to write, yeah. write it out and um, different things. So I'm, I'm actually like super excited about it. Like I'm going to drop two a week. That's the plan to drop two a week until I really get a good foundation going i'll yeah. probably drop another one on sunday and do sundays and wednesdays and yeah. and just like get that get catalog going also like pushing that on tiktok you know yeah tiktok is huge What's it's de- two a week definitely sounds doable um so you know for everyone tuning in viewing listening whatever may have you whatever that idea is jump on that shit. yeah just do it because somebody else gonna do it if you don't do it quick like literally and it's like and i'm sure other like other people commented like oh i've been wanting to do this yeah. and it's like i'm not the only one who thought of it but i am i do got that username wrapping recipes and yeah. that's what i'm really proud of i'm like shit i got i don't it's not wrapping recipes one two three it's like just wrapping recipes yeah. and i really hit and reserve that on tiktok reserve that on all the different platforms yeah. youtube facebook all of that so that yeah. is on point i'm surprised no one had that before yeah, that's, literally. <laughs> that's how i feel with day by day well i actually had to reach out to somebody to get the username day by day for ig oh you did but they were, i'm glad you got it oh they were so cool about it like i'm gonna I'm still you know once i get put on i'm gonna I'm send them a little something for because they did not have to do that shit at yeah, all. Yeah, that's dope. I was like, I offered to pay actually. I was like, yo, like I'll pay. They gave it to you for free. Yes. Oh. I was like, yo, I'll what give you. What were they doing on it? Just posting random stuff. It was a regular thing. His name was his last name was like Daily or something oh, like that. Oh wow, that's dope. I was like, yo, I'll give you. I offered him two hundred. I was like, yo, I'll give you two hundred dollars to get the day by day username because it's just easier for you know branding right. and marketing and whatnot. And he was like, uh, I had some podcast videos up. He was like, okay, I see you doing your thing. Best of luck. It's all yours. And he took it down. Oh, that's dope. And I had you, to wait, you had to wait two, two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> I had to wait two weeks. And then I, I switched over. And I'm like, yeah. So that's I, fire. I Congratulations. For, yeah, appreciate that. I ain't forget about you neither, bro. Like, just give me, you know what I'm saying, a little time to monetize this thing. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, send that right yeah. back. That's um, dope. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, so my second thing, uh, question is, um, what initially made you turn vegan or vegetarian vegan? Mm-hmm. Um, I stopped eating meat in 2017. I had um, I had read a book called Maintaining Our Temples um, that I had got at a Buy Black. Somebody gave it to me in Kansas City at, on, um, in 2016 on Black Friday. Mm-hmm. I was at a whole black thing. It was like a black vendor's market, all black vendor's market on Black Friday. And they gave me this book. And they said, read this book. It's going to change your life. And it took me like a month to read it, like to actually open it and read it. I probably read it a month later. And I'm like, it was basically talking about how as um, black people, melanated people, it's not really inherently in our diets to eat meat, like to be eating like the beef and the chicken and the, um, just in the pork and all that and how um that's why we're leading in all diseases because it's not it's not for it's not in our dna you know what I'm, saying? I'm so glad you said that. i mean cut you off but yes i'm glad you said that because as far as leading the diseases we always think it's hereditary 
Oh no, but that the is, diet hereditary. Exactly, that doesn't, exactly. The that diet doesn't, is hereditary, right. which leads to the diseases and whatnot. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's 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 strong. It's so many studies. It's like strong links between diet and I. I just can't believe people even still debate that diet. Mm-hmm. Like that diabetes is still hereditary. It's like, no, that's definitely caused by diet. Yep. And and it's a lot of things like, you know, cancer, all of that. It's yeah. like it, it links to your health, your yeah. diet. And, and we have a control over a lot of things. But um, we're leading in all of that because it's like we're not really supposed to be eating that stuff. And so um, from there, I was like, I read the book. It's not like I immediately just stopped eating meat the next yeah. day. It was like, all right, I'm throwing all this stuff out now. Right. I um, I stopped eating meat in March. So it took me like three months. It's like in the back of my head, I was like, all right, I know I'm not supposed to be eating this, but it's like, it was, it was hard to like, just actually make the decision. But when I did actually stop, I just, I stopped cold turkey, you know? I even had, like, I was like, I know I was with my ex at the time and, I, we had went and ate some African food. I was eating some goat. I had some leftovers, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm gonna stop eating meat after the rest of this goat." And he's like, "If you're gonna do it, just do it." And, and I didn't even eat the rest of the damn the leftovers. The leftovers, and I just cut everything off. That's strong and, because leftovers be hitting. <laughs> <laughs> right. I remember what that goat looked like to this day. And yeah. um, but that summer, I actually ate chicken a couple times um like when they would bring it into my job or I would be like but it, it made me feel so bad like mentally and just like the whole physical eating it it was greasy the, the meat the, the skin the veins the bones mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying it the was gristle just, yeah, yeah it was like it was so gross I was like I don't even want to like eat that like I'm repulsed now I'm, I'm, I'm repulsed by it now yeah. you know what I'm saying so it's like I don't want to eat. Like, I remember even uh, with my dog, when he when my dog was still living, like, a few times, I was, like, feeding him chicken. I'm like, what if I just try to pee? And I couldn't bring myself to do it because it's mm. like, I just, I'm, I'm, like, repulsed by meat now. So that was a true mental battle with yourself, like, completely giving it up, it sounds like. Yeah, but once you stop it, it's, it's, it's like, like, I feel like, if I if I decided, all right, you need to eat meat again, it's gonna be hard for me mm. to go back to eating meat. I would have to force myself to like eat it and, yeah. and like digest it. And so yeah, it was like I noticed so many good things from it though. Like um my digestion got so much better, you know, I started feeling not so like groggy and stuff like that. And I, and I so it's it was like a pretty once you stop and once you actually know what to eat. It's pretty easy to um, make the switch as long as you get in over that initial like three weeks, three, four weeks yeah. of, of not eating it. And then you start having the adversions to the food and everything to where it's not it's not difficult to to keep it going. You know, yeah. at least for me, it was. I know I hear I talk to people all the time and sometimes they're like, I'm like, well, how long did you stop? And they'll be like two weeks. And I'm like, you should go at least three weeks. But then I'll talk to some people. They're like, oh, yeah, I stopped for six months. And then I went back and I don't know how yeah. they did that because I'm like six months. Six you months, was already in the clear. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I definitely recommend it for for everybody. I, I mean, I eat really good. Like I don't miss meals. Like I'm, I'm really well fed. Like it's good food. And that's why I'm excited about getting these vegan recipes to more people because it's like I'm passionate about showing people another way to eat that is really good and really tasty and like I I love like cooking for people that are are meat eaters just mm-hmm. to show them that like yeah. it's really good yeah. like it's not like I'm like they think vegan and they think not good for Eating some reason spinach and carrots right, all day right literally and it's like that's not what it is so one um I don't know if a mis- I don't know if it's a misconception or not but one like stigma around vegan or eating vegan is that it's expensive it's actually less expensive Mm. because think about like the only thing that's expensive about eating vegan is eating out as a vegan okay you know or if you eat fake meat like beyond Mm. meat impossible so you don't mess with that stuff um i i eat it but i don't buy it Okay. You know, I'll eat. I don't buy it to cook at home. Okay, I'll eat it out and different things, yeah. but um, I don't really cook with it. I like to. I do a lot of mushroom based stuff, which is cheap. You know what I'm saying? I just got three pounds of lion's mane mushroom for fifteen dollars a pound. Shout out to Southern Sports. Um, 
network or Southern Sports, whatever, Southern Sports, something. Mm. But they 15 a pound for lion's mane, that's going to make like six steaks, mm. like vegan steaks. Yeah. Like, and it's mushroom and it's really good, really good for you. Yeah. A lot of health benefits, brain health. It can fight dementia, all types of things, help with memory and lower your blood um, pressure, lower your bl- blood sh- um, get your blood sugar regulated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It has so many benefits to where some people just take lion's mane capsules and stuff like that, but you yeah. can make it in a really good steak. But um, yeah, it's a misconception that it's expensive because even that's even expensive on on a vegan side, like those specialty mushrooms, like lion's mm-hmm. mane mushroom, oyster mushrooms yeah. and stuff like that. But th- compared I to love- me- oyster mushrooms they're really good yeah. they're really really good yeah. they kind of taste like chicken sometimes yeah, or what yeah. i think chicken used to taste yeah. like i don't even remember it but does. It, yeah so I've, you I've can had, do a lot i've had fried oyster mushrooms a couple of times they're very good they're very good but yeah. like when you like baby bella mushrooms and like mm-hmm. that's i can make a whole taco meal for ten dollars mm-hmm. like literally pack of taco seasoning and, and shells for like three dollars mm-hmm. um Baby Bella mushrooms, three dollars. Mm-hmm. Walnuts for five dollars. You put walnuts in the tacos. So I make a walnut mushroom meat. Okay. So you put the walnuts in the food processor. It's like one part walnuts, two part mushrooms. Baby mm-hmm. Bella mushrooms. Just need a pack. You put a few walnuts. You get a whole pack of walnuts. They'll last you a few few things. Mm-hmm. You cook it just like you would cook ground beef yeah. you put the taco seasoning on it okay fire sounds fire. intriguing sounds yeah and then intriguing. you got a tomato lettuce and stuff yeah. that's ten dollars literally yeah. and you make a whole feed your whole family for ten dollars so it's really not expensive as long as you um know what to make like that chickpea curry mm-hmm. it's two cans of chickpeas two cans of canned tomatoes a can of coconut milk onions garlic yeah seasoning yeah it's like ten dollars literally you make you got a whole pot of curry like mm-hmm. you know that you can eat for days Couple oh days. And some bread some yeah. non-bread three dollars for some bread yeah. so it's like it's it's really not expensive unless you're eating out all the time or what is expensive is the fake vegan cheese now mm. is that good like the the fake follow vegan... your heart brand is good okay you had to, it took me a while it was a minute i just didn't eat cheese at all i'm yeah. like i'm not doing no vegan cheese nothing because yeah. it's gross it's slimy but follow your heart brand Free is slime. my number one mm-hmm. <laughs> um vile life is my number two mm-hmm. i know there's some other ones in there so let me ask you this you being a vegan could you talk to or date someone who eats meat um, I have, and I don't even know. I don't want to. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. So what if they eat meat, but he's, um, he's, uh, he doesn't mind with you only eating vegan. It's still in the back of your head. Like, first of all, it's like. When you're being physical with people that eat meat, you're kind of they're kind of like putting their meat juices on you and stuff mm. like that. You know, like it's like uh, I know the Queen of Fua said, like, "Yo, watch what you eat, but also watch who you allow inside of you mm. that and what, and what they eat too." Because that, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of like, yeah, that's in the back of my head, and I, and then also like, I know with my ex because that last year we were together, I was not eating meat i was Mm. vegetarian and it was it was hard we had to eat at different places or and then we was getting arguments about it then i would like cook the meat for Mm. him and then the vegetarian for Mm. me and i just i I don't have no interest in cooking meat i have no interest in being around meat i have no interest in like like the damn raw meat and the juices and the blood i don't i don't even want that like around me and so i would prefer to be with the vegan and let me tell you, watch someone I was talking to. I told them this. Mm-hmm. This nigga lied about being vegan being and vegan. stopped eating meat. But I see this nigga, I see all types of. I'm like, bro, you don't have to. I'm like, I don't want you to go vegan for me. Yeah. If you was already going vegan for you, cool. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's what you're doing. This is your New Year's resolution. You're yeah. trying to go vegan, whatever. Don't go vegan for me. Go vegan for you. Oh, yeah, you so know? Listen. He's like, all right, yeah, I'm vegan. <laughs> This nigga, I go to his store, it's tacos and shit. This shit look like steak tacos and shit. I'm like, what is this steak tacos in your store? 
That's that's vegan. It's plant based. <laughs> I said, where where you get that from? Cause I know every vegan spot in Charlotte. Where you get that from? Cause yeah. I'm trying to get some too. Like, yeah. what's up? You yeah. ain't bring me none. Yeah. Like, what you, you trying to tell me? That's not a steak taco right yeah. there in your story. Yeah. He's this nigga is like lying, literally lying about it being steak. Well, let me let me let me let me <laughs> let me break let me break that down real quick if I could. Let me break that down right quick if I could. Uh, I think it was from the great. The great uh, Ghostface Killer, who said, "A dude will change his religion about that thing." <laughs> <laughs> so you think he won't change his dietary focus about it, no, or lie in or this lie about in this sense? In this sense, but yeah, I mean that that's all that was, man. Listen, a dude will go to the furthest extent. I don't know if I said that right. The furthest, whatever you know, what I'm trying to say. Right. The dude will go to the furthest. For that thing, that's why it's powerful. That's, that's crazy as hell, though, because I'm like, bro, like we could have just been friends. Like, he don't lie be, to me about being vegan, bro. You ain't got a lot to kick it. Like, he, he ain't want to be just friends. That's the whole. <laughs> that's the whole kill. That's the whole thing. He ain't want to be just friends. Again, that thing is very powerful. If it can make a I dude change, believe. if it can make a dude change religions, <laughs> then of course a dude going to cap and say he vegan for it. Um, real quick, back that to that shit the, pissed me off. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie about it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie about it. I ain't gonna lie. That shit had me high. I'm like, bro, like this is clearly we arguing about steak tacos right now. Listen, that's why I'm on my celibate. That's why I'm going back to being (laughs) celibate now, so I can get that. You know what I'm saying? Clear Mm -hmm, focus. mm -hmm, You know what I'm saying? Because it'll have you all types of derailed. Um, Crazy. To the beginning, when you said like. being physical with a meat eater, you still kind of feel that in a sense. So is that true what they say about a dude's diet? Like you could taste a dude's diet? Um, And you know what I mean by that, right? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Is that true? <sighs> People's diets be so trash, man. Yo. Yeah, I I don't know. Well, why are you thinking? I'm going to say this. <laughs> I asked because the first time I even heard of that was in college. I was dealing with this Jamaican girl, and she would cook a lot. And, you know, mm-hmm. Jamaicans, they cook very, you know, natural type. They're not really mm-hmm. with the whole processed and shit like that. So she made a lot of uh, vegetable-based um, right. meals and whatnot. So rice I, and peas. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> shit, man, what? The rice and car- carrots, all types of shit. <laughs> So I would I was eating better with her cooking and whatnot. Plus I was just eating cleaner overall because it was uh-huh. in the football season and whatnot. So I'm eating my salads and whatnot. And she she was a freak. You know what I'm saying? She was she, <laughs> she, she was she was Jamaican, of course. Um, but she was a freak. And um I just we was dealing with each other for a minute. And I remember one day, like she swallowed me up, right? And listen, this open platform. <laughs> and she was like, damn, babe, I could tell you've been eating cleaner, like. Is 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 a lot less salt, like it's less salty, and I'm like, what you mean? She's like, I can taste like that you've been eating clean. I was like, yo, that's real. Like, but then it hit me. I mean, they say what comes in, you know what I'm saying? Right. You are what you eat. So right. I'm like, wow. But that was the only <laughs> time I've heard salty. that. Yeah, that was the only time I heard that. So I didn't know like if other women like could taste the difference or whatnot, and if you have ex- ever experienced that. Um, I feel like I ain't. I ain't trying to taste nothing if you got a terrible diet, mm. like period. So I don't even, I, I can't even like compare it because it's like. Well, when you were with someone who had a bad diet, do you think that you could taste the bad part? I probably had a bad diet too. Uh, <laughs> so you diet. couldn't even distinguish yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would say. Yeah, I probably had a bad diet too. Mm, but so you couldn't really separate. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It's, it's I kind of, I kind of um, pick and choose. Yeah, <laughs> so. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. you gotta have some type of like yeah. discipline when it comes to your, like your diet, man. You gotta be it's sure like, of it. These, and then if you don't, then it's like we gotta. Keep that there. I ain't, I ain't, mm. I ain't swallowing nothing that mm. ain't. That you know clean. what I'm saying? Like, okay. like that's not that's a no go for me. Got you. <laughs> but man, people be getting crazy out here, man. Yeah, especially in the hood. Yeah, especially in the hood. What do you mean? In the hood, man. As far as diet. Oh, yo. In I- the hood. <sighs> 
They be eating crazy in the hood, man. I just can't believe how you go so long. Well, well, look at what's right outside of their doors. You know what I'm saying? It's a alcohol and fried chicken. Popeyes and, and Bojangles right. right there. So I was actually talking to my mom about this. So this side of town is it's technically like Noda Plaza Midwater. Right. For those that don't know Charlotte, Noda and Plaza Midwater are like kind of upscale. Right, Most, gentrified. Yeah, gentrified. Ten years areas. ago, not really. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> From yeah. what I've heard. Yeah, me yeah. too. I heard right down the street yeah. of Piedmont Projects right, right here. So. Um, but yeah, so like Reese said, gentrified. So I noticed I moved from university. University is I used pretty. To live there too. Yeah, mm-hmm. university is pretty diverse, but it's it's mostly black. And the specific spot that I moved from, within walking distance, there was a Chick Fil A, a Bojangles, a Popeyes, and then, oh, you must have lived up yes. down the street in university, yeah, like yeah, closer to the, the Walmart. Top. No, 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 no. I was at. I was even past that. I was like, um, you know where Mallet Creek High School is. Uh-uh. I was right next to Mallory Creek High okay, School. Okay, because where 45. I was at in university, uh-huh. we had a variety. I yeah. was right by the school. It was a lot okay. of Indians by me. Mm. We, I'm by the Blaze Pizza, okay. by the by the um by the, Kava. Uh, oh, so you was by, by the, the boardwalk. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, There's see, a lot more options over there. But, but see, the boardwalk is a nicer spot. <laughs> right, right. To live by the boardwalk mm-hmm. is, is some money. But I say that to say the spot I was at, walking distance between all these chicken spots, come out here to where I moved to by Plaza Midwood and Noda. <laughs> there's no there's no Bojangles or Popeyes or Chick-fil-A. Mm. I haven't had Chick-fil-A since I moved. And people know mm-hmm. I love Chick-fil-A. I haven't had Chick-fil-A since I moved. You know what I'm saying? I just like... Damn, I never realized there's no chick. You know, because I ain't, I ain't checking for the chicken spot. Right, right, right. There's really not. Yeah, so... Yeah. And I say that to say, you say like in the hood, like their dietary, you know, that's because right outside of that access. door... Yeah, the access is 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 right there. And, and and real quick before we continue to that, um, I know I asked you as far as have you tasted the difference and whatnot. Um, I'm going to just say this. It goes for women too. Can I, <laughs> let me get my shit off right quick. Okay, I've heard the other way. Yeah, let me get let me get my shit off right quick. I can see that. So about a year ago, I was dealing with this one girl. She came over, we had sex. And um on the surface, everything was cool. And what I mean by on, on the, the surface, surface now you know you got a story when you gotta say that. <laughs> on the surface, everything was cool. On the surface, everything was cool. So we having sex and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And her juices start, you know what I'm saying? Excre- Marinating. Excreting. <laughs> her juices start excreting. And a smell hit me. It hit you? It hit me. Like I said, on the surface, it was cool. Because we give the test. Guys, on the surface, we give the test. We go down there, we play with it. And when she ain't looking, we give the quick we give the quick sniffer rule to make sure we good. Boom. We dives in. So on the surface, it was cool. Okay, so it passed the, the finger smell test. It passed test. the sniff test. So we, so we smashing, and she start, you know, coming. Her juices start excreting and whatnot, and it stunk. And it, Like, what type of smell, then? I just, I just, fuck, I hate when this oh, happens. Oh, man, he's huffing and puffing right now. Because, yo, that's such a... Dis, that's <laughs> this such, is traumatizing. That, it is. That's such a disappointment when you're dealing with something that look good, and you're like, bet it's where we at. And she stink like that's just the worst. What shit did it ever. smell like? Though? It smelled like ah, it smelled like bad fish. You know what I'm saying? No, smelled like bad fish. And that wasn't the only time in what? my life that's happened to me. Um, but I say that to say, so I couldn't finish. Some dudes be like, just lift your top lip and keep. Nah, fuck that. I'm. I'm so where do you think the smell came from? If it was, if she passed the smell test, I'm about to tell you. So, <laughs> so I'm. I'm not. I'm not a top lip lifter and keep finishing. No, I'm a stop. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, I'm a. It's some. It's some freak ass niggas. You some freaky ass nigga. It's some freak ass niggas out here. <laughs> I'm not one of them when it comes to that department. So I couldn't finish. So you know she's leaving and whatnot, and I'm just disappointed. My did shit. Did she know you couldn't finish? You know what's crazy? Or did you just like <sighs> did you did you fake it? I'm not gonna. I'm not <laughs> gonna. Did you fake an orgasm? <laughs> I have done that before. <laughs> I have done. I have done that you, before. You've done that before. I have done that before. Women, oh y'all, my God. y'all think y'all the only ones? We we can do it. I've done it before. I'm in the car, right? Not you fake the orgasm. I have. I'm in. I'm in a car, right? I'm hitting her in a car, and I'm drunk. So when I'm drunk, I think for most dudes as well, when we drunk, the liquor, the lit for me at least, the liquor goes in my dick, and it's like hard for me to come. Like not hard for me to come, but like if it's some bullshit, I'm not gonna right. bust. So it just wasn't going nowhere. I'm like, this is a waste of time. So what I did was I pulled out and spit in my hand. <laughs> I spit in my hand. I was like, ah, fuck. 
Uh, my love has made me spit in my motherfucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spit in my I hand. I can't believe it. We're in the car, so it's kind of dark. I so can't I can't believe that. I just let her glance at it to see, you know, saying why, that. Why would you show her? T- <laughs> and, and then I'm like, yeah. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, oh, wow. The yeah. lengths these niggas will go yeah, to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Listen, I got up out of there. <laughs> I got up out of there. But back to the story with <laughs> with with um fish fillet. <laughs> so, Not fish fillet. So I and you know what's crazy? Again, this has happened a few times where a girl has stunk. I'm not gonna lie, it's happened a few times. Um, and I've never told a girl to her face right then and there. I've told a girl afterwards, but I still I never built the courage to tell them right then and there. I just stopped and be like, yo, you I told them after we gotta hear about that next. Yeah, yeah. So like <laughs> we gotta hear about that how you told them afterwards. But right, continue, I, continue. I got you. We need to know what, what went wrong with this first one. So she so she, you know what I'm saying? She's like, okay, da 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 da. So she's I'm I'm still a gentleman at heart. So I'm walking her to a car because it's like two in the morning type shit. I'm living in an apartment complex in university. And she um, lights up a black, a black and mild, right? Boom, right then and there, right? So that's when it hit me because the black was at her car and it hit me like, she don't give a fuck about what she's doing with her body. And she's smoking black and mild. So then (laughs) I'm like, oh, all right. It's like one in the morning, some shit. I'm like, what you about to do? She's like, I'm about to go to Wendy's. That was number two. (laughs) So I'm like, okay, you smoke black and milds, you eat in Wendy's, (laughs) you eat in Wendy's, you probably ready to get a Baconator. That's why your shit stinking. Oh my god! Because you're doing anything. He said you probably ready to get a bacon. Yeah, yo. <laughs> See, women, girls, some girls out here think that you know just because they pretty and they use wet wipes, they can drink all types of Hennessy, smoke right. backwoods, smoke black and milds, eat whatever the fuck they want, and they good. No, that shit is gonna uh, fuck your pH all up. Like it's about yeah, what's inside. Yeah, it matters. Yeah, it definitely matters. It definitely matters. That's crazy. And that's yeah. and that's when it hit me. How you said you're conscious about what a dude eats before you even get physical with right. him. Me too. Now I do, I do eat uh poultry. I don't eat beef or pork. Sometimes beef. It's cookout season, so it's hard not to. Sometimes not right. gonna lie, but you know I'm conscious on that too. Like if right. you if you eat a whole bunch of fast food and you just Man, doing all niggas types of still bullshit. Eating pork in 2023. That's that blows me. Yeah. Yeah. That literally blows me. Yeah, that's crazy. Like for real. Like that's it's, crazy. it's, it's it, <laughs> that's crazy. It blows me. What did what did um that dude what 19 Key said? He said, "Look, if you eat if you still eat pork, I can't trust you." <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't do business with <laughs> You're you. Right. If you smoke, he said, "If you smoke cigarettes, so if, if you eat pork, I can't do business with you." I mean, you know, I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, it's like damn, niggas is still. I and I used to I used to smoke cigarettes. Mm-hmm. I used to smoke blacks ten mm-hmm. years ago for mm-hmm. a little bit, like. Uh, or 12 years ago uh-huh. 10 50, a long time ago yeah, but yeah, yeah it's like my diet used to be crazy yeah. like, like stuff I used to eat in high school like mm-hmm. I used to eat McDonald's yeah large fries yeah. crunch wraps like mm-hmm. I used to eat crazy oh, it, yeah, I can't even about. believe it that's yeah. why I'm like if I could do it yeah. if I could turn my diet around like you can't do right. and I still eat good and I don't even miss none of that I'm like disgusted right. by it but, yeah, yeah yeah so it, it, it matters what you put in yourself men and women you know what I'm saying it does matter it matters what it you put matter. in yourself it I've was... heard good things yeah. what about you <laughs> I've heard good things <laughs> so <laughs> so let's talk about that you've heard good things i'm assuming you're talking about taste yeah not only that i've heard like vegan sex in general i heard like it gives y'all like a different aura they say just in general the vegan glow is a thing but they say like vegan sex is up there as well too um damn have oh, i've had sex with a vegan before well i'm talking about from you, from my pers- i'm talking about from I mean, from you and from from the yeah, other person in general. Yeah. you said you heard good things i mean i I don't know if that's because I'm vegan. <laughs> well, what good things? Well, the good things that you've heard. What What are the good things that you speak of that you've heard? A lot. Yeah. I've heard a lot of good things. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. I. You know. You, yeah, you know. I get you, you. You. You gotta. It's, I get it's you. a secret. I get you. G- <laughs> game, of, game is to be sold, not to be sold. <laughs> a lot of good things. I get you. A lot of good things. I get but, you. Um. Yeah. It's 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 good over here on the on the vegan side, you know, and I think um. I don't know. I do think I don't know. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say vegan vegan sex is superior to like non-vegan sex. I feel yeah. like I've never had sex with a vegan. I had sex with a a pescatarian, um, a vegetarian who still ate meat sometimes, but a pescatarian. And yeah, that shit was on point. 
No, no, it was not. better than the meat eaters, than the baconator. <laughs> Better than the Baconator. That was traumatized. And I didn't eat the Baconator, thank God. Because oh even, even though she passed the sniff test, I still could have ate her and thought it was cool, but I didn't. Thank you, Lord. I there didn't. was another story wait, I wanted to hear. You had Oh, another. how I told a girl afterwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was an asshole. This was like, I'm like 19 at the time. I'm 28 now, just to give some context. Okay, so cool. I'm, I'm like 19 at the time. And again, this was another girl who on surface was cool. But every time we fucked, like as she came, it smelled. And um, like a couple years, we used to fuck a lot in high school. After high school, we hooked up again. And it was the same difference. So I like texted So her. you did this multiple times. Oh, I double back. Yeah. <laughs> again, times, I, I was, was a like, young. Like, oh, it only happens when she comes. Yo, you know? and, it's not and, the whole time. I, well, I wore a condom. I always wore a condom with her and like I I I would I would get my rocks off with her because her body was banging. <laughs> her body and I was just very attracted to her. Like her body was banging. So that was the one time that I would finish when it when <laughs> <laughs> someone asked me, You ever had good funky pussy? Yeah. It's just ah! it's it's a such thing. It's I so I, so that That's instance crazy. that instance I did do the lip lift. I ain't gonna lie. But Oh my God. So um I was an asshole, yo, looking back at it. So <laughs> I'm texting her one day and I'm I asked her, I'm like, yo, do you smell yourself? Like when like during sex I need to stop drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling these stories? <laughs> I asked her. I'm like, yo, like, do you smell yourself like during? Like, that was my question too. I'm like, yeah, did they smell it? yeah. And I, I be curious. I'm like, I know you smell this shit. And what you have say? to. So I asked, like, do you smell? She was like, what do you mean? I was like, yo, like, just you know, a few times we had sex, like, you stunk. Like, were you able to smell that? I really want to know. I'm just straight out with it. I'm a Sagittarius. We we out the gate with mm, it. I'm a fire sign too, but shit. Yeah. yeah. So I just <laughs> I just I just straight up asked her, like, do you smell that? And yo, she got pissed. She What'd she was, say? I, I can't remember what she said. I just remember she was very pissed. <laughs> Maybe hurt as well, but she was very pissed. And uh we never had sex again after that. <laughs> Did you regret saying something? Nah. I didn't regret saying nothing because you know. Who, who, so did she? Did she answer the question? I can't remember what she said. I can't remember her. <laughs> did she, was it yes or no? Did she? I don't think she gave a yes or no. I think she gave more so of like a you're an asshole type thing. I don't. But see the thing, I, I don't regret it because who's to say I'm not the asshole that gave her advice to really evaluate What's her herself. diet like? I don't know. I don't know. I I, I didn't spend that much. But time Y'all were young it. too. Cause both of yeah. y'all dies is probably fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't spend enough time around her to know what her diet was like, but I do remember her being mad and I, I don't, I don't <laughs> care. Like who's to say like that wasn't what she needed to really be like, okay, let me, let me find out about myself. I mean, people try to, I think people try to fix it from the outside when it mm -hmm. comes to like smell issues, like, all right, washes, mm -hmm. different things. People be douching, mm. doing all types of things. But it was Olive like, oil or vinegar. I, I don't know. I don't do you, know. Do you know methods. what the whole vinegar thing is? Never heard of it. Snap that pussy back. You know what vinegar is? Mike Tyson. Uh, not Mike what? Tyson. Mike Epps. He said he's like vinegar. Like they used to use vinegar and call it snap back. I don't. I still don't know. That what shit it, sounds like it would burn. A bathtub with vinegar. I still don't know what uh, it means. Does anyone know that what that means? That shit sounds like that shit would burn. I still don't know what the whole vinegar shit was. I, but, I still don't know. I just yeah. it's my first time hearing this. Yeah, yeah. Like I, they, I'm, they used to do that back in the why day. Would, that seems like why would you vinegar? Is is acidic? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We yeah. Clean so with it. why would you? I don't know. I, why would you put something acidic down there? I don't know. You don't, know, and expected yeah. like no, we snapback. we need that alkaline. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. alkaline. Yeah. I still don't know what a snapback. So was, but damn, it was that's crazy. But no, I think people try to fix it from the outside and add all this artificial stuff mm -hmm. rather than just. Fixing your diet, yeah. drinking your water, water, eating your fruit, fucking water, your vegetables. You know what I'm saying? I think, yeah, I just think vegan girls gonna always be winning when it yeah. comes to stuff like that because it's yeah. like your diet is just yeah different. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm I you gotta, got more energy. Yeah, I, I you got, got you gotta start going to the um, vegan festivals. Yeah. You gotta you know vegan vibes. They coming back every Sunday. You know, Find one. Yeah. Hit, hit the little um the comedic science store. Yeah, yeah. Point, yeah, point me in the direction. <laughs> That's where they at. Go to Trader Joe's. <laughs> Trader Joe's. 
Yeah, point me the direction of where they at. I might gotta, mm-hmm. I might gotta, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, they might convert you. I see, and again, I wouldn't mind, like, even with the pescatarian I was dealing with, I would only eat her diet around her. Like, I wouldn't right. mind that. If I had, I always said this, because I really do want to go vegan at some point. I'm 28. By the time I'm 30, I want to go at least pescatarian. If it goes past right. that, where I can go vegetarian, well, you, you know, I've got good meals. tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, even yeah, pescatarians, easily. you got to be vegan, like, yeah, you can't. four days out the week. Okay, yeah, you exactly. You're supposed to be eating fish every, every day. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but see, I, again, I could do that. If I had a girl that could cook these type things, absolutely. No you can problem. Cook them. Yeah, I'm. I'm telling you these recipes. I'm, I'm, I'm probably I'm probably could, recipes. but you know it ain't even about me being able to cook or not. It's yeah. just like if I had a girl that could cook it, like I would love her even it would that be much easier. more. Yeah, I, I'm saying like it's just nothing like having a a cooked meal by a woman. You know what I'm saying? That's just like the most for me because I'm someone who loves to eat. Right. I'm a buck ninety, but I eat like I'm three hundred pounds. <laughs> so if I had a woman that's cooking for me, like I'm, She's I'm like yo, I'm eating the vegan. I'm eating all. Yeah, this. That's exactly. The, and that's dope that you're willing to because yeah. like. Some people are just like not willing to, and nah. it's just and they're and they're gonna lie and eat steak tacos nah, and then nah, post nah. the damn steak tacos on Instagram. Absolutely it's like nigga, not. what the fuck? Yeah, I, I love good food. I love different food. I love Indian yeah. food, and Indian is very he- heavy uh, vegetarian mm-hmm. and pesk and whatnot. So I can, I definitely wouldn't have a problem with that. I've had a, you know a woman that uh, you know cook for me and whatnot. So um, it's Memorial Day weekend, mm-hmm. cookout season. So what do you yeah. do? What do, as a vegan, what do you do at cookouts? I don't go to them. Mm. <laughs> no, um, I actually last Memorial Day I threw a event, a cookout okay. event called Boom Bap and Brats, mm. where it was like a hip hop concert with Brats, and we had vegan options. We had vegan linguine. Uh, well, she didn't put no meat or cheese in the linguine, um, and then um, we had. Did we have we have vegan burgers too? Okay, you know, so do black bean burgers. Yeah, like you could easily throw a vegan option. Out. You know what I'm getting tired of? What? People acting like vegans don't exist and that it's not 2023 and not having at least one vegan, vegan option, option at events, at least having mm, one vegan option. Point. Just different places like, damn, like we want to fucking eat too. Yeah. Like you want to throw a brunch event and you want to have no vegan options, no right. vegetarian no, even pescatarian options. Yeah. Y'all just got fucking yeah. chicken and waffles. Yeah. And you spent, and the waffle ain't even vegan. It's like, yeah. it's like, I'm I'm getting really tired of that. I'm That's like, yo, point. we exist and we're growing. Like, like, damn. Like, do you not know that the vegan option can also go for the pescatarian, the vegetarian as well? Mm-hmm. You know, like, I don't get it. It's like, yo, we exist. And because I'm so conscious of, I'm vegan. Yeah. I make sure every event, every event I have, it's, I make it's sure vegan it's friendly. vegan option. Uh, even my food vendors, I make sure they have at least one vegan option. Like, we don't want to have to go lead to eat. Like, yeah. Yeah, would you want to go to an event and it's all this food around and yeah. and it's a food based event and y'all don't even think to even like consider right. to a, a vegan option? Like, it's really like so you having a cookout and you put in fucking. Turkey and the damn green beans. Why? Like, it's like I can't even eat the fucking green beans. Like, what is wrong it. with y'all? Like, stop. Yeah, and that that also <laughs> comes to being being aware of who's coming to your events and what. It don't matter. You think it should be for? I think just the, little changes, mm-hmm. little little changes. It's like just don't put the don't put the pepperoni in that linguine. Just yeah. don't. Just I mean, don't. I, I, me personally, I think if if you know for the most part who's coming to your cookout. You plan accordingly and whatnot. How you gonna know somebody girlfriend vegan? Yeah, and I was gonna say that. You know now, <laughs> now, if someone is bringing somebody, then I think it's good to do two, one of two things, or two of two things. One, you can put on on a flyer or the invitation, be like, "Listen, it's gonna Let be." Us know. Yeah, bring or you could say bring your. Right. If you want, if you want I something, seen vegans yeah, do that. If you want something on the grill, bring it. I'll throw it on the grill. That's something right. I would do. Yeah. Or like you said, you can have at least one or two things that's it might be side dishes like potato salad. Like right. I'll you know what I'm saying, make my potato I can't salad. Eat potato and salad either. Is is that non vegan? Egg, dairy, ah, mm-hmm. mayo. Fucking mm-hmm. love potato salad. Oh yeah. I maybe. don't even fuck with potato salad though. I never really liked I it. I love potato salad. Have you ever seen the movie Who Made the Potato Salad with Steve Urkel? <laughs> Nah. You know, please. <laughs> that's one of those movies that never made it to the movie really? theater. It's one of those raunchy uh, raunchy Los Angeles comedy movies it got D Ray Davis in it. It got Pinky from Next Friday in it. What Debo's in it? Steve, um, uh, Eddie Griffin's in it. Damn, Steve Urkel's in it. Um, the white comic, the white comic that be with, um, uh, what's his name? The white comic, um, 
I forgot his name. He's in like it's it's one. Of, it just skipped the movie theaters. <laughs> Please watch that Who movie. Made the potato salad. It's hilarious. That movie is so fucking funny. One of my favorite movies. Um, Eddie Griffin's in one of my favorite undercover brother. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Remember when he turned white? <laughs> he was like, "You're not from Jackson Five. <laughs> That's my fucking the movie. fucking Mayo yeah. watch. Yeah, yeah the Mayo. Yeah. It's like, what you trying to kill me? I had to spray the I hot, had sauce the hot, on hot sauce. Watch, hot sauce, but it, the on mayo. the mayo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was that was dope. But then when I got older, I, I realized, damn, I want to be able to. That's another thing I want to do in the future. It's a mm-hmm. lot of shit that I'm doing, but it's a lot of shit I want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, make movies and stuff. But Undercover Brother was so genius because when I got when I woke up, I was like, yeah, it's a whole other meaning Very, to this yep. meaning. But on the surface, I really just enjoyed it yeah. as like a comedy. comedy but nah. when you look back at it, it's yeah. like, damn, they had a lot of like underlying yeah. like it's, shit for the kinda, world people. It's kind of like uh, Boondocks. I think mm-hmm. Boondocks was good with that as well. Like I've been recently watching Benjamin Boondocks. Boondocks was good with that. Yeah, yeah. people know it as being funny. Ha ha ha. But no, like yeah, it's real shit in there. Boom, it's the way with writing. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of it's genius, and it's crazy how real life Boondocks was. How many real life scenarios came to light that actually took place in Boondocks before right. it really happened? Damn, it's like the black version of the, the Simpsons, Simpsons, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I gotta go back and watch the. I don't watch anything now. Yeah, like, I, that's I good. That means you're being busy and proactive. Yeah, I just don't watch stuff. It's like I haven't watched. I probably watched one movie in the past five years. I definitely don't watch movies. Yeah, I've I, tried. I don't I watch. Can't do I it. haven't watched one series since before I moved to Charlotte. That's why I haven't I, watched anything. So, what, so you don't even. So, do you at least watch old shows? I don't watch anything. Nothing. See, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I can't watch. Um, so, like, I can't watch. I'm sorry. I can't watch a new series of anything because I'll lose interest fast. Really. In, I only watch I only watch TV when I'm eating. And I'll watch like a 20-minute show like Boondocks of something that I know and I've seen before. Okay. I can't start a new series. I can't watch a movie because I just can't. I don't have time to sit in front of a screen for an hour. <laughs> right, and binge it and, yeah, and get I, all into it. I, I used I, to watch Power Yeah, that was, like five, six years ago. Yeah, when, yeah that was the last yeah. time it really happened. But I can't sit and watch a full movie because I'm, I'm doing something. Man, <laughs> a lot of this shit in TV is like... TV a really a brainwashing device for real yeah, for real. Absolutely. Like, oh, uh, uh, it's it's like crazy when you look at like the top the top black sitcoms or, mm-hmm. or series, mm-hmm. you know, like Power, yeah. uh, BMF, different things. And it's like I love that so many black people are are giving given opportunities and they're thriving, but it's like the fucking messages that are in it, you know what I'm saying? From that first episode of Power First few minutes, I'm shooting that dude in the yeah. head, and just saw the, as much sex, drugs, violence in in the TV. Well, that's it's what cap- that's what captures the viewers. Uh, what's those chemicals in our brains that releases when dopamine? We watch? Yeah, that's what that's what it's all about. Triggering the dopamines at the mm-hmm. end of the day, and that's what captures is it the the sex, the shots. You know what I'm saying? The, the drugs, getting shot at the drugs. Yeah. yeah. So they have to because if they just put on some regular shit, it's not as many people that's going to consume that. That's like right. with, with scary movies. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Why scary movies had all these jump scenes and whatnot because mm-hmm. it triggers that oh shit like a high for us. Right. So that's what these networks, you know, at the end of the day are chasing. But it's crazy because it's like it's literally brainwashing us, Absolutely. and I, I just don't. It's not healthy at yeah. all from the diets. To what we consume on TV, oh, to, man. What, to what we consume on social media, to everything like that. You know, I lived. A, um, so the relationship I was in, the last one, it was it was a, a, a very abusive, physically, mm. um, mentally, emotionally, and I would see him watch. I would we would the TV but always be on, yeah, and just like Sons of Anarchy. That's not even mm. a black show. I'm yeah. saying the white shows is like that too. Yeah, absolutely. You know. Um, just watch really violent things, you know, like um, watch really just violent stuff all the time. And it's like, I know that has an effect on yeah. on, on people and For how you sure. act. Like, and it's just like, we see so much, like we see so many people die on the screen. Like you don't even got to see it in person. Right. It's, you're des- you're desensitized from it by the time you d- you do see something yeah. for real. But you know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot that we just see 
Yeah. That before we can even speak, you know mm. what I'm saying? Because a lot of times people are playing these moves. Like I, my cousins, they about to come to town now. They not gonna see this. They don't be watching all my oh, interviews. Right. But they coming to town now. But um, she said the baby loves uh <laughs> their baby like three now or one of their babies like three now. She said mm. she just love bad boys too. Mm. So we just play. It. She get quiet every time. Bad boys too, but. Bad There's boys, fucking scenes it's like mad boys. shit. It's mad shit going Shorty on. Getting in piped in a car on yeah, bad boys. Yeah, it's too. mad shit going on in bad boys too. It's like yeah, the baby loves it, but it's like before you can even speak, yeah. you are seeing so many That's images yeah. that you don't even realize that you like from a TV. Yeah, and if that TV was removed, and and the and the technology was removed, you like. Imagine how less desensitized right. we would all be. That's why it's like I feel like that's why in America somebody liable, you liable to get road rage and somebody kill somebody because mm. you done seen somebody get shot and killed so many times. Mm. We've seen probably somebody die by gun probably a million times. Video games, you know what I'm saying? Oh Andres. yeah, not to mention video games. That's <laughs> yeah. a whole other thing. So music. we probably yeah, mu it's everywhere, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like it's in our culture. So yeah. it's like. By the time you actually do it, it's like it's, it's not even like I've already done it yeah, subconsciously so right. many times. Uh, th I've done it on the screen or in my imagination right, so many exactly. times. I did it in real person. It's not as right. hard to get over it. Right, but yeah. it, if all that was removed, you likely wouldn't resort to those yeah. actions. So yeah, it's it's definitely deep. I do feel like it's it's being used as a weapon yeah. ag against us. But um, there's a. That being said, there are good things that you can find to watch. So I, I shouldn't be so, yeah, I just don't watch nothing. But it's like, it's good things that you can watch. And now I can watch movies from a different perspective, too. Mm -hmm. And um, so I definitely, maybe I'll get back into watching stuff. But it's yeah. it's, it's a lot going on out here, man. And, yeah. and the stuff that they pushing and, and just, the, just the mindsets. Absolutely. Of our people, especially. 100%, 100%. So, yeah. 100%. Um, all right. So, before we get out of here, um, what um, future, we talked about your present endeavors and whatnot. What future endeavors are coming to Reese Raps? Um, definitely, we're going on tour. Nice. Dope Events is going on tour. Mm. I said it. And uh, I said, yo, Dope Events, out of January, I was like, Dope Events is going on tour this mm. year. I said it publicly. Aren't y'all going to Miami? We're going to Miami next week. That's go. the beginning of the tour, and we're yeah. going to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, keep setting up these dates and bringing people with me and, and allowing people the space to travel. Yeah. And, and, and it globally, you know, Dope Events is a global platform in my eyes. Mm -hmm. or, um, and I see the vision, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I went to London. I, I, I want to go more places overseas. I, I can see how I can bring my events and go on a world tour. Yeah. And do it. All you got to do is book the venue, right? Yeah. And connect with the people in the area yeah. and collaborate. As for Reese Raps, you know, as for me, I definitely am looking forward to um, dropping more music, dropping more visuals. I've definitely like when I say I've came so far with with visuals. I mean, my visuals were always dope, mm -hmm. but I just didn't have a lot of them. So I had probably before November of. 2022 mm -hmm. i only had three visuals out mm -hmm. now i have like 10 or so nice. you know and, and just from the this from the snippet of the corrupt video that look it's it very changed, changed because so i think it really it took for me to lock in with somebody that i really love and um was and we were friends and we are friends but we were friends before we shot our first video you know so and it, we shot Pro Vibe first, and mm -hmm. then, and then we shot a bunch in December, and then yeah. we shot an Alibi video, the whole courtroom video. Um, that's out if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's a whole courtroom scene. Um, we shot that in January. Um, we shot Corrupt back in December, and then we shot a few more scenes a couple weeks ago. So I, I'm about to empty the clip with Corrupt, yeah. and then we gonna shoot some more stuff this summer to nice. um, go on this thing. But definitely Chance Picasso, he's really the greatest. Um, of our generation, I feel like. Nice. And I just, I, I love that we can lock in together and grow together and we really understand each other and yeah. and we're comfortable around each other and we, we build off each other's creativity. And I think it's important to lock in with, with somebody. And I've, I've, I have that, you know, I have yeah. that connection with change and it's like, and it's like, no, he's literally my friend though, outside yeah. of that. So, um, 
this next EP, because the um, corrupt and all that, that's on that's the Jay Dilla beats. That's only on YouTube. So technically, I haven't dropped an EP on all platforms. Mm. Since I dropped the Diary of Apahi EP in 2019. So gotcha. Queen of Heart, Hearts was actually supposed to be my second EP to drop. And I've been working on some of this music before I made all the Jay Dilla stuff. Mm -hmm. But I, I kind of put that in a slid down in there yeah. and put that out first. But um, some of these songs on here, like my song Friend Zone, that song's five years old. I've been mm -hmm. sitting on that song for a minute. What's that about? <laughs> I put a nigga in the friend zone. Oh, man. <laughs> Keep that nigga in the friend zone. <laughs> so are you is he in the friend zone or is the friend zone like a refrigerator? Like is that just for reserve? Like to pull him out later? <laughs> <laughs> no, I put him in there and I keep him in there. Keep and they the want zone. a hotel, motel, holiday in. He claim he wanna be my babe, but I say he just a friend. Mm. You know, but every relationship's a bank account. Are you contributing the right amount? Mm. You either put more in than you taking out, or you in the red. Negative. Intentions are almost never red. So can he buy his way out of the friend zone? Um, I, people have before. Yeah, it took a while. It took a yeah. long time, but um, at the time, I, I it's funny because like I wrote that when I was like I'm 29 now. I just mm -hmm. turned 29, and I wrote that when I was 20, well five years ago, so 23. Yeah. 23, 24, and uh -huh. it sounds like something like a 23, yeah, 24 yeah, yeah, year old gotcha, would say, but gotcha. it's still like all my music timeless, so it's yeah. cool. But the whole project is like it's like a breakup project. And I'm I'm and it's like my disposition with love over the past like five years has been like breakup music. Not love. I don't make many love songs. And I'm looking forward to getting this era out mm -hmm. so I can move on to like a loving era when it comes to like yeah. love. And I, I think it's about time that I um it changed my perspective on relationships and love. But I I'm definitely looking forward to getting all this out because it's still a part of my journey. Well, and it's, let me ask you, what do you mm -hmm. want? What do I want? Yeah. When it comes to relationships? Yeah. I want, I don't want this. That's what it's been. What's that? Bumping heads? Yeah, just all, like, not, Clashing? not this. Okay. It's been this. Oh, so you've never it's had been, this. I've never it's had this. Been it's this? always been this. Okay. It's always been like hard, mm -hmm. difficult, like arguing all yeah, the time. Like I don't think I've been with be people this. that are not compatible with me. I think that's what it is. And I think it's about um, compatibility and, and, and flowing and, and being with people you flow with and not just being with people because they want to be with you. Because mm -hmm. I feel like I fell into relationships because people want to be with me. And then I don't necessarily want a relationship at the time. Like I didn't want to get in. I didn't want to get with that rebound and be there for four years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of happened. Cause, mm -hmm. but um, I don't. I'm not. I'm in a space, and that's why I've been single for so long. I've been. I'm not just letting stuff happen. Yeah. I'm just not falling into relationships with people that I'm not compatible with that don't um, complement my growth, and I don't complement their growth. Or it's like, or we don't compliment each other, you know? So yeah. it, it got to really just be on the same wave. We got to, um, we don't got to be the same, but we got to be somewhat, we got to have similar interests. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we got to like, like, well, are you looking? Am I looking? No, I'm not looking. Okay. I don't think you, ever, I don't think people should ever look. The best one, the best, the best situations <laughs> are when they just find, right. right? I don't think Absolutely. people should ever look. So I'm not, I'm not looking. Well, well I, I, let me say this. Some people, some people have to look for the time, for the time's sake. You know what I'm saying? What like, you mean? They like, they if like someone, 40. If someone is just completely like, okay, I have my money right. I'm good where I want to be in life. Um, I'm speaking from a male's perspective. I'm 35. I'm ready to get married. I'm looking for a wife. I think that, I think it's, it's okay to look. But not you're not gonna find them. Not though. be pressed. You think I don't know. Some I people look and still looking, find it. You're not gonna. You going Some people look and still find it. But if you if you're looking and you're pressed to fall for the first thing that's glitz and glitter, then yeah, you're fucked. But yeah. if you're looking but still uh, uh, cautious about, right. then I think you're good. But I don't think it should be like you should never ever look. Right. I don't. I. I, I don't. Do you I, don't get I don't think I've ever. Yeah, I do want to get married one day. Um, and um, start a family and then I'll be making like family raps. <laughs> no, but, um, I, I, I don't think I've ever like looked for a relationship, like never. And I don't see myself. I've never even like, 
I'm not the girl that's going to even, uh, I'm not going to talk to you first either. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not you know, they, like they say, girls, it's hitting on you, got to shoot your shot and all that. I'm not even decided to do that. I really just be minding my business. Mm-hmm. And even if that's like, even if I like, it's weird, like if I ever have a crush on somebody, if I ever like in life, like mm-hmm. they'll eventually talk to me. I don't even have to like, it's weird. It's you like put, a- Cause you're putting the energy in there. Yeah. And yeah. then also, also, also women, y'all can shoot y'all shot without shooting y'all shot. Y'all look good <laughs> for that. Y'all look good. You don't have to say a fucking word. You don't have to. <laughs> We can feel that energy. It takes the slightest of look, but y'all, y'all, y'all can do that. Y'all can do that. So that's that's what that was. You put it in the universe and it just landed upon, dude. It comes, it comes. It'd be like that. Yeah. So I'm not even like I don't think I ever really like look for stuff, but um, but yeah, um, I'm looking forward to getting this uh, project out because I feel like the Queen of Hearts thing is ironic, like. She's the queen of hearts, but she was also very like kind of cutthroat, you mm-hmm. know, when it came to stuff. And I and I feel like that's how it's like it's it's the irony of it all. And I feel like it kind of fits how I be feeling about about this stuff. But it's it's about um, it's eight songs. Okay. I might add one more, yeah. but I'm dropping this summer. I'm just excited to keep connecting people, keep um, inspiring people by doing yeah. what I do. I got some um, domestic violence awareness stuff I'm working on. Um, I've been fucking with the grants, getting grants. You know, I got like 13K in grants last year. That is important. Um, just got a $20,000 grant, oh, that is you know. Tough. So, that is lovely. So it's like, it's money out here for artists yeah. and, and people doing yeah, things. Yeah, I'm looking and, for podcast grants. They're out here right yeah. now. Look up ASC Charlotte, Arts and Science Council. ASC Charlotte? Yeah, they, they drop multiple grants a year. I've gotten literally all my grants from them. ASC yeah. Charlotte, bet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, and you bet. could get some because you're a creative, yeah. you know? So um, I think a lot of times we don't apply for those things because yeah. we feel like they're not for us or yeah. or we just don't apply. You can't win if you don't apply, but right. it's like I'm getting really good at it. Like I nice. haven't lost a grant since the beginning of 2022. I got really? four out right now that I'm just like, I'm waiting to hear back yeah. on, but it's like I've gotten three. I got four on, in the works and um, – uh, and then they had me on a panel to rate other people to get grants. So I got to see the back end yeah. and see how it looks on the other side. And so wow. I'm really like, I'm good at it. I'm really that's, good with the formula. And now dope. with other things like AI, chat GPT, you can use that to assist you in right. writing it. Don't have them write it because then you're yeah, going yeah, yeah. to be just asked assist, out. But yeah. no, you could like... I'll write something and be like, yo, revise this, make it more compelling. Right. And they'll make it more compelling or they'll make it like sound better. But right. I, I don't know if I've gotten, now those are the ones, the shit I've been, because that's fairly new. So those are some of the ones I'm waiting on, the ones I'll see if that actually worked right. or if okay, I should have just did yeah, straight yeah, yeah. like me. All you. But um, yeah, I'm I'm excited though, because it's like, it's money out here. Um, Definitely want to get more sponsorships, brand deals, and yeah. stuff like that with this following that I'm growing, and I'm just um, excited to continue to collaborate with more people and and yeah, keep it working and keep it moving. So nice. yeah, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough for this great conversation. This is one of the longest episodes I've done, <laughs> but it was also one of the most natural flowing. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying I really enjoyed every piece of the conversation that we had today. Um, I truly enjoy everyone that tuned in, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening to your respective podcast platforms. We're all, we're everywhere. Day by Day Podcast is on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, whatever. Day by Day Podcast is there. I just ask that you subscribe and share it out to help with this algorithm. But um, I also like to thank everyone tuning in again because I wouldn't be able to keep this going without y'all and y'all support. Uh, thanks again to Reese Raps who pulled up. Thank y'all. Make sure y'all check me out everywhere. Reese Raps, R double E C double E Raps on everything. I'm Googleable. Mm-hmm. Make sure you spell it right though. Go to ReeseRaps.com. Join my email list. Join my text list. Mm-hmm. I have a text line where I could text you directly if I'm in your city. That's if hard. I got opportunities, 412-207-3755. Tap in with me. Um, dope events, DOAP events, wrapping recipes, spell correctly. Um, Reese Raps on everything. Mm-hmm. And um, Reese Dot Raps on TikTok, yeah. <laughs> rapping recipes on TikTok, yep. and definitely check me out. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, and be on the lookout for new music. Follow me on Spotify, all that good stuff. But actually, buy my music outright because streaming ain't really paying us the dollars. And I'm, I'm a tag, I'm a tag all of your, um, you know, all of 
accounts and music platforms and whatnot in Thank the um, in the description of the show. Um, yeah, shout out to four one two. Shout out to four one two. Yeah, but until next time, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. Peace.